I'm Chris with iPhone in Canada. I'm going to run some benchmark speed tests to give you an idea of what this maxed out spec Retina Display MacBook Pro is capable of. I'll also have in the corner the same tests run on my mid-2007 MacBook Pro just to give you an idea of the major upgrade this is for me. Let's first run it through Cinebench. It's available online for free. First we get this nice 3D animation video. Once complete, you can see I'm getting nearly 40 frames per second. Next, the CPU you it too, nice and quick, especially compared to my old computer. Let's move on to some read and write speed tests with this Ivy Bridge processor and the flash storage. These numbers from Black Magic Design, which is available in the App Store, should be fast. And yes, they're almost off the chart, almost 430 megabytes per second write and nearly 450 megabytes per second read. Now I've seen a few people do this test to see how long it takes to start the computer up. Let's give it a try. And I'm seeing start times of anywhere from 14 to 16 seconds. So really quick boot up. Now let's give Nova Bench a go and you can see my score comes in at nearly 1260. The higher the overall number, the better performance you're getting. And lastly, let's give it a go on Geekbench. This app like Nova Bench is available on the Mac App Store. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, this one isn't free. It tests out the entire system's preferences. My score, well over 12,000. Again, higher is better. And this one is on par or better than the top of the line 2011 iMac. So really nice performance on a laptop. I'd love to know what some of your scores are for your laptops and desktops. Let me know in the comments section. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel so you get all of my future videos. I'm Chris with iPhone in Canada. Thanks for watching.